welcome to our second video in our series called An Artist's Story. And thank you for the overwhelmingly positive response to our first video in May. Today we visit the gorgeous lakeside studio of Canadian artist Shannon Cross. Hi Shannon. I abruptly quit a policing career that I loved as my husband and I moved to Pittsburgh in a rather dramatic fashion for his work. It became clear after some months there was no going back soon. So we started a family and then moved to Europe for a while. It was there I was able to stop and breathe and use my newfound time to embrace the European life and the culture. As I visited galleries, my love of the arts started to grow and I grew an appreciation for what artists were creating and how they created it. Um, the process is what intrigued me the most and acrylic on canvas is where I began and I've never looked back. I most love to paint landscapes and abstract florals. I enjoy taking those parts of nature that are often made to look very real and perfect in balance and palette and make them look the opposite. People often think of each flower to be individual and beautiful on its own, but I enjoy painting them to have a more modern flair and rather than spend the time making each flower look perfect and exquisite, I paint them all as a bunch together so nothing is exact and sometimes people see them as something different. I love nature. I have a very athletic dog who needs to be off leash and hiked every day. So no matter the weather, I do love getting out with her and seeing nature. And living in the Okanagan is such a blessing and the lakescapes just really inspire me to get home and put it all together, but often more on a contemporary level. Based on what I plan to create, I choose the canvas accordingly. I typically know what style I want to begin with and usually reference a photo or if I have flowers on hand I'll bring them into the studio but uh, I decide at that point what my focus will be and then how I'll incorporate the white space into it if there's any white space at all. To me the balance of the piece is often the most important in creating the focal point. The palette I choose is the most critical. I mix colors and play with the shades that I'll be working with. And I create a huge mess before I even put paint to canvas and then I begin. So early in the process I start to feel where the journey is going in terms of how long it will take and what level my frustration will actually be. <laughs> Getting from beginning to end can sometimes be a painful task, I can't deny that. I'm my worst critic and although my pieces don't focus on perfection, I strive for it in what my own creative mind is telling me. So I remind myself to trust the process and the painting will start to show itself, hopefully. Uh, quite often it takes a turn and ends up nothing what I'd imagined, but I often like it more. And um, sometimes uh, my work is described of more as a creative mistakes. And this is often how my layers take effect in my paintings, most of my paintings. Generally, people who love the outdoors love my art, as well as those who appreciate a more modern flair and are more contemporary. Clients who often aren't afraid of abstract, um, but not so much abstract to be too risky in their eyes. Most often, uh, those who commission my work indicate um, and ask me to create something I would I feel would suit their mood or taste, rather than steer me to something tangible or detailed. What I love the most about the creative process is turning on the music in my studio and just getting lost. Forgetting the deadlines, appointments and life's pressures. I'm blessed to live and paint in the Okanagan shores. Uh, no matter the weather, it's always a bright, happy day in the studio. So no matter what season, I have these great big windows and um, it's, the lake is always a wonder to behold. So some days I just sit back at my desk and don't even paint. I just think about what I'm going to paint next. Um, I cherish my art collectors. In some of my past, more modern commission pieces, I have some hidden letters and uh, numbers or words that I put on the canvas that only the collector can actually see. It's something I have to point out to them later. So it's something that's meaningful to the collector and, and hidden. One collector, uh, she wanted a very large nine-foot piece for her home with an image of her family on the beach uh, in Maui. So I transferred that image onto the canvas, but in such a way that it was really abstract and edgy and it was pretty tough to see. 
So I had to show her and am amongst the image I had written and painted their wedding date as well as the kids' birth dates. So that was kind of neat and um, some of the favorite colors that the kids liked and things like that. So once I presented the piece to the clients and pointed these things out, they were so amazed and most of all they were just full of gratitude so it brought a lot of joy to me to see how much they loved this piece and that they truly could not have the, they couldn't hang the, the painting in any other home. It was specifically made for them so that made it very special. Those kinds of things I always remember. Oh.